Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, I'm going to be tying up uh, today a variation on a very famous pattern called the Partridge in Orange. Uh, this is uh, a finished fly here. Um, there are uh, a thousand videos out there uh, on this fly uh, with authentic materials, uh, modern materials, modern hooks, all kinds of variations. I'm not going to get into that uh, or even compete in that sort of zone. Uh, I'm going to do a cool uh, historic variation on that called Wind's Orange Partridge. Uh, it's a fly based on Jim Wynn. Uh, who is a famous North Country angler. Uh, his variation is he used uh, peacock curl for the head uh, and he used uh, tinsel to make the eyes, um, orange tinsel. Uh, I don't have orange tinsel, so I'm just gonna use orange floss here uh, for that, but I'm gonna do the peacock curl head. Uh, and I'm going to use orange silk uh, and a partridge feather from uh, the back uh, of a partridge, so a little bit darker of a, of a color there. Uh, the hook I'm going to use is, um, is a, just a partridge dry fly hook. Um, so a little bit more of a modern uh, take on that, but I think it makes the video a little bit better. Um, I've said this in the other videos, I'm just going to repeat, um, uh, now, cause I think in my last video, I didn't say this. I am an amateur fly tire. I'm not a professional. Uh, so this is just how I'm figuring out how to do it. It's, uh, I don't know exactly how Jim Wynn did it, did it. Um, so I'm just kind of winging it here. Um, if you have any questions or, um, you know, want some more historical information, I highly recommend Rob Smith's uh, book, The North Country Fly. He is an expert and a professional. Uh, I have a little bit of an intellectual man crush on him, so uh, I, I would say talk to him and, uh, and uh, get any kind of information uh, that you might need there. So I'm gonna just get started here. Uh, I'm gonna tie in my silk. Now I did wax this thread um, uh, a little bit here, just just near the uh, upper section that I'm about to use, just because uh, I kind of want to minimize the wraps here, uh, and I like the tackiness that the wax uh, offers uh, to hold things in place uh, without um, too many wraps. So. I'm just gonna go over for the floss and I'm not gonna do a, a pinch wrap or anything fancy there. I'm just gonna lay it in, have the wax grip it um, and then leave it alone. Um, if you play with floss too much with your fingers, even if you have super smooth, awesome fingers, uh, you, you'll fray the floss uh, and it, make life a little challenging. So I'm gonna try and touch it as little as possible. And just lay those in there like that, one on either side. And then I'm gonna give it a couple of tight wraps. Okay. And then I'm going to grab a little peacock curl um, I fluffed it up a little bit, but I'll just show you, just kind of stroke it back. Uh, and then I'm gonna tie it in uh, so that most the, the the working end is over the eye of the hook, just like the tinsel on either side. Okay. And I'm gonna come back towards the head, tying these things in. Then I'm going to work my way back a couple of turns and I'm going to reach in and cut off all this schmutz as all this waste. OK. 
Okay. I'm going to take the hurl and start to wrap it um, back. And kind of like you would um, work a hackle, I'm just going to kind of stroke the fibers a little bit here. I think that's three turns. I wasn't really keeping count. I don't know that you need to worry about keeping count. Uh, just kind of look at the the size um, of the head. And I'm doing a bunch because when I move the floss over, it's going to, um, it's going to compress some of that hurl. And there's no doubt that hurl is one of those magical ingredients. So I'm gonna pull this piece of floss down the side. Okay, I have a rotary vise, so I'm just gonna work it there. I'm gonna get that there. And kind of made a bushy head, two little uh, orange uh, eyes, if you will. And I can come in here and cut this floss. And then I'm gonna tie in my partridge. Um, I don't worry about uh, the sparse and, you know, the beautiful uh, Instagram uh, kind of hackle uh, situation because I'm gonna fish this. <laughs> and more, I, I feel like more is better because hopefully I don't lose the fly too quickly. And uh, I uh, can always remove on stream fibers if I feel like there's an issue there. Uh, so that's three back from the tie-in point. And I'm gonna come in here. Whoops. I'm not the steadiest of hands here, hence not a professional. Okay. A little hackle pliers now. Now, unlike when you're going the other direction, this you're gonna have to um, brush the hackle fibers over the head, but you're gonna go in touching turns behind uh, each one towards, towards the bend. Okay, so I did that. And now I'm catching down the uh, stem here. Uh, I don't worry about these, all this stuff that I trapped and went the wrong way and the little bump there because we're going to end up with a whip finish uh, behind the hackle. And this little zone here is going to be, you know, there's no, it, it's not going to be perfect. It's going to be covered up by the hackle. So it's okay. Um, one of my trimmings there is stuck on the thread. Thank you. All right. So now I'm going to go back to make the body length in touching turns with the silk. And again, like the other ones, you're going to want to stop uh, the body where in between the hook point and the barb. Um, this partridge dry fly hook has this kind of super cool eagle, eagle talon kind of extension of the point, uh, which I kind of like, sort of grabs in stuff. So that's right about there. So I'm going to start coming back up. 
one of my favorite uh, variations on the partridge in orange uh, is um, with a wire rib. I don't know if that's uh, what's considered standard or a standard or an original variation. Um, I don't know. I'm not, again, I'm not an expert on that, but the little bit of flash, you can't go wrong with uh, that. So there we are, we're behind uh, where we tied in. And I'm gonna do a, a uh, whoops, a uh, whip finish here, if I can get my coordination together. Three. We shall cut the silk off. And since we tied the hackle with the right shape to it, even though we pushed it over the eye um, when we did the tying, all you have to do is go like that and it's back to normal. So that is the fly. Um, hopefully you can see uh, in the pictures and in the video there, the little eyes and the hurl head. And uh, Jim Wynn died in 1974. All right, tight lines everybody, enjoy, thanks.